Hello guys and welcome to my video on how to install a user emulator. In this video I'll give you a detailed explanation and how to get it. So if you like the video make sure to leave a like and a follow. I'm trying to reach 1k followers it would really help. And let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is head on over to my link and click download. And then if you have Windows click on download user for Windows. If you have Linux for Linux I'm going to have Windows so I'll click on the Windows button. It will then download in the background as you can see right here. It's not going to take a while so we can already go back here, go to File Explorer, go to Downloads and move the file over here. What you then want to do is extract the file. It will says it has the, uh, it has the location already. I'm going to replace it right here. Then you will get this folder and you can go ahead and delete this. Let's drag this into the middle or wrong folder, this. And in here you will have your user folder. Double click on it. Oh, wrong one. You want to click on user.exe, not user room. My bad. It will take a bit and user will open. As you can see right here, I have a game installed already. Don't worry about that. You need to carry it, you need to get on the game yourself. You need to download the ROM. I'm not telling you how to do it, but you can Google. Super Mario Odyssey ROM and only install NSP files. The other ones don't open EXE files, it's a scam. I'm just noticing, but I can't legally show you how to get it. But if you do get it from the internet, make sure it's an NSP file. Yes, an EXE file is a scam and you won't get the game, so just be careful. So the first thing you'll do to be able to play games is install the title keys and the, and the firmware. To do that, you're going to click on open user folder, go into the keys folder, and we have all of these, which we will delete for now, since I'm going to show you how to get them. You want to go to the second link in the description, which is this one, the key website, and you're going to download the latest keys. Then you're going to open your downloads folder where you got them. Then you want to extract all. and you want to go into the folder, go into the keys folder, and you're going to have all the keys right here. So to install them, open user folder, go into the keys folder or make a keys folder if there's no keys folder already available, and drag these two files into here. That's all you need to do for the keys file. Then you want to make sure you have to prod and title keys. We're going to install the firmware since we need that as well, which will be in the third link in the description. And you just want to download the latest version. I'll install it real quick. Taking a bit. But it should be done right now. So we're going to open this again. Go here. Extract the firmware. And it will install a bit, about 15 seconds, kind of, not big, but also not small. As you can see right here, the PC can be small though. And we have it right here. But you don't, you can delete the firmware folder, then you want to go right here to tools and install a firmware go to your firmware folder and click select folder and it will install the firmware as you can see 50 percent 60 70 it doesn't take that long sometimes it will send up responding just let it download don't click on anything it will load trust me guys as you can see right here it's not responding for a while that's why it's downloading we're going to leave it right here. So sometimes it's annoying, sometimes it's crashing. You just want to wait for it to install. I already installed it. I don't really need to install it. So I'm going to close user real quick and restart it since I don't want to make the video too long. My bad guys. Actually it's installed right now. So we don't even need to close it. So the next step, once you have the game, by the way, you can add the game path by going into desktop, select the folder of your game, and it will appear right here. It's important. 
You can also use all these files and so files, load files, I wouldn't recommend that, I would just recommend to add the folder. Then we go to the settings, and settings are important. I'm gonna show you what worked for me the best, since the other ones kinda crash in. So you wanna keep your CPU at auto. The graphics to Vulkan. If OpenGL works better for you, you can use OpenGL. Vulkan works better to me, since I have a low end graphic card. And I left all of this the same. And here you don't need to do anything. Another important factor is you can uh, connect your mouse, uh, your uh, Pro Controller here. I don't really have a Pro Controller right now, so I can't connect it. But you can use all of these. You can connect it and then change all these settings. M important part, you're going to have this on docked for more FPS. You want to have vibration on if you want and motion on if you want. I think that feels more natural. Make a name for your profile and save it. No, make a new profile, OK, and then save it once done. Then you want to press on OK. And now I'll show you how to install the mods and how to launch them. So I'm going to delete this folder since I want to show you a fresh way to install it. So you want to go to the the last link in the description will be my speed and fly mod advertised it for me yes i don't know why so you just wanna i use i recommend game banana in general for any mods you can go to game banana and search for super mario this thing you can find fantastic mods i have a fly and speed mod if you want it's linked you want to click on manual download on the zip file and click on download which will download the zip file then we'll do the usual, you can keep this folder open since we need it. It's kind of complicated to install mods, that's why I'm showing you, you should pay attention. You want to extract the mod folder. You can then close this folder. You want to open this and you will have a ROMFS. Before you pull the ROMFS in here, you want to make a folder with the mod name. You need to have a folder with a mod name or the mod will not work. I call it speed mod. And then move the ROMFS into here. The ro it doesn't need to be called ROMFS. It should always be ROMFS, but it can be called something else. Just drag it into a mod folder. And that should be it. Then you want to check and click on properties. And you can disable your speed mod here and enable it. If it doesn't work, you can always do stand. That should make it work. And here you can change some settings like region, CPU, you can change it for this game as well. I'll keep it as general though. Let's check if it works. Since I'm playing on keyboard, I kind of can't control my movements. Like, <laughs> I'm not good on keyboard. My Switch controller is just not here right now. That's just a little info. I want to keep this video short. So I'm not gonna <laughs> try too much to get my controller to, to connect. If you get a fresh launch of the game, it should put you into the cutscene. You see for me, it doesn't lag. It can lag in the beginning because it's a little loading shaders. It's normal. As you can see, I should be super fast now. Yeah, that works. And I can also fly if I hit C. For info for the mod, you can jump down by doing a cab jump. I don't know how to do a cab jump on mobile, uh, on um, keyboard. So um, I'll just fly into infinity until my game puts me down. Sag. See? But you can explore with this mod, it's really cool. You can go up to the skies, you can go against the invisible barrier that's here. Really cool. And yeah, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. So to pause in it, you can pause in a game and you can also stop in game. It won't save your status though, and it will also tell you your add-on and all your mods that are currently active. And yes, so the last thing I'm going to show you is you can put your save files here and download a save file. So to do that, you're going to go on the game banana as well and type in Odyssey save file. Oops, kind of misspelled, but it should be okay. Oops. Sometimes you'll find it, sometimes not. It gets deleted sometimes for some reason. But it's okay. If you can't find it, you can also go on Google and type in Odyssey save file. 100% if you want 100% save file. 
Oh, sexy put Mario. Here you have it. Here we have a 100% save from all of all the moons. I'm gonna click on the download file. Click on download. And again, you will get a file. Let's open it. Extract it. Close this one. And you get the file one. We currently have file one. So what you wanna do instead is name it file 2. I recommend naming it file 2 as your secondary game file. Put it in here and start the game again. It's important you have the game closed when putting it in since it doesn't sync if the game is open. So that's it. A little side info. Then you want to launch the game. And you can go to options, data management, load. There it is. Since we saved it as uh, file 2, it's on file 2. And you can load it. <laughs> and then it can lag since you're loading it for the first time. As you can see, it's kind of a lot black and will kind of lag. Over on the moon. My my. It kind of my mod kind of doesn't work on the moon except for the jumping part. But yeah, you have to cope with it. <laughs> That's all I wanted to show you for this cool video. So, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Make sure to leave a like and a comment and follow my channel to reach 1k subs. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.